What is up guys, Quinkin here and welcome to another one of my Manchester United career mode episodes. I haven't brought one of these in a while and I know you guys are desperate for one of these because you guys have been commenting on my previous episodes saying, oh when is it going to come out? I want the new Manchester United career mode to come out and I want to thank you guys for the support. Uh, I want to thank you guys for saying that you guys really like this series. Um, I, I like the, the, like the fan base even though it's not a lot of you, but uh, all of you are, lo are, lo are freaking loyal as hell. You guys are one of the best subscribers that I've ever had in my life. Um, I want to thank you guys because of that, and I want to apologize for not bringing out any episodes. Uh, the reason I haven't is because I had winter uh, winter break just started, and last week was the last week of school. And obviously, I wanted to try my best before the break uh, started. So I did all my work, didn't have enough time to do videos. Um, I saw lots of shows I want to see the finales of and uh, you know I wasn't really motivated uh, to do any any videos but I want to want to uh, apologize for not bringing in any videos but hopefully you guys you guys uh, hopefully hopefully you guys um, uh, forgive me and uh, you know I decided to bring this episode today and um, you know Lukaku was very good in this game we're playing in the Capital One Cup versus Everton and Tim Howard, even though we scored a bunch of goals on his ass, he did save some shots. He played very well, but there were some errors that the defense made that let us make uh, the goals. But here we go of Pato. He made the first goal as a penalty, and Pato is starting to look uh, like a good, good prospect. We bought him uh, from uh, Corinthians, and we, we gave him Danny Wolbeck, and we paid $5 million. But he's starting to look like uh, a very good player. Uh, I didn't know he was going to be this good. He's outshining uh, Robin Van Persie. And so is Makeda. Makeda, you guys are going to see the goal he makes. It was spectacular. And he gave us a lead. Uh, uh, when you guys see that, he gave us a lead there. But De Gea, or I mean Lindegaard, had a spectacular game today. De Gea was uh, low on fitness. And I decided to put in Lindegaard. My man Lindegaard. Very, very good goalie, but this was the last chance we had uh, in the first half of Ashley Young. It hits the damn post. It hits the damn post. I don't know how the hell that didn't go in. Tim Howard with a spectacular one-hand save, or it was a two-hand save. I really don't know, but it doesn't matter because he saved it. Hits the post, and it goes out for the corner kick. And oh my freaking god, this was the last chance. We headed it, and it goes over the crossbar. We go to halftime, winning 1-0. We were playing very well. Uh, Everton not doing that much. And I want to tell you guys, I am playing on world class. So it's a little hard. Um, you know, it kind of pisses me off, the goals that they make on me. On me. They're not even good goals. It's just because I messed up with the defense and they make some goals. I'm going to have to look out for that. But here we go with Lukaku. He shoots it. Good save, Lindegaard. De La Fu treats the hell out of my defense. He treats Lindegaard and the defender as well. And he makes it 1-1. He ties it up. Things are looking bad. We're in the Capital One Cup. We need a win to continue. And look at this. He dips to the left. Shoots it with his left foot. And he just curls it in nothing we could have done but the positioning on Lindegaard was horrendous but this is a goal I was talking about look at Makeda shoots it in the top right corner Jesus Makeda has three appearances and three goals this kid is absolutely beautiful I can't believe how Manchester United does not use this boy in real life he's barely 21 they've had him for a couple of uh, years like four years now they've had him since Ronaldo left Manchester United and he used to be in the starting 11 not a lot but now he isn't but now in my career mode he's gonna be a good asset and he's looking good I might use him most of the time in the starting 11 uh, I'm not thinking of keeping Robin Van Persie uh, you guys are telling me to buy Ramos to buy Aguero and I thought previously that I shouldn't buy a new striker, but now that I've played with uh, Robin Van Persie more, I I'm thinking of actually selling him and getting a better striker. Even though Robin Van Persie is a very high-rated striker, uh, you know he's not cutting it. His pace isn't good. I don't like his work rates. He's never there to score a damn goal. 
and uh, that is something I don't like about Ram Percy, but we'll talk about that later. And look at this, guys. Alexander Pato made the winning goal. Lukaku, as you guys saw, made the goal to make it 2-2. It was tied. I was furious. And here we go with a beautiful cut from Nani. He centers it to Pato. And Pato just scores it. And nothing Tim Howard could have done. The American goalkeeper. And a beautiful goal by the Brazilian player. And this, you know... Everton in the last 10 minutes they were trying to score goals on me look at all these chances Lukaku gets unmarked he shoots it good save by Lindegaard and another attempt here they were trying to tie the game up and possibly win it I was trying my best to defend look at this look how many chances they had my defense was ripping apart but we will we were still in there Lindegaard was making some fantastic saves not letting any balls go by making wonderful spectacular saves that I've never seen him do and I think he is stepping up even though De Gea is doing very well I think Lind Lindegaard is setting giving us a, a, a reason he's giving us a symbol of why he should be uh, the first team goalkeeper but I don't know guys because this is in the Capital One Cup it is Everton they are a very good team Oh, well decent and they're one of the good uh, better teams in England and this was the last chance we had with Wilfred Zaha he got in between two defenders beautifully his dribbling is spectacular and he just got in between them shot it uh, but it remained 3-2 we win at home versus Everton and we continue in the Capital One Cup and that was a very good game two goals from Pato and a goal from Makeda but we have bad news again Rafael got injured broken toe in the training and that isn't right uh, but uh, we'll go into the second game right now and things are looking bad I'm thinking of buying a new right back because I don't think Phil Jones is good enough his pace is 69 how are you a right back and your pace is 69 but look at us we're in first place 23 points and we need a win so we can get a, a difference uh, a bigger difference in the table from Liverpool and Spurs I can't believe Liverpool are having a good year this year they're right behind us they're trying to win the league and we are also and I was thinking of buying Dimitar Berbatov in the beginning of this uh, this this series I was thinking of getting him and you know reuniting the old players that won the, the treble back in 08 which was Cristiano Ronaldo, Dimitar Berbatov, uh, Carlos Tevez, Johnny Evans was there, Rio Ferdinand, Anderson, all these good ass players. The the legendary uh, goalie himself, Edwin Van der Sar was a goalie, uh, but we have De Gea now. I'm trying to reunite them back together. I'm thinking of bringing back Carlos Tevez and Dimitar Berbatov to have a stronger attacking uh, duo. But uh, there, there's the chance that almost made me piss my pants. Fulham had a very, very good game today. They were, they had most of the possession. All their shots were on target. But De Gea had a spectacular uh, game. I think he saw how Lindegaard had a very good game, and he was like, you know what? I cannot let him uh, take the spotlight. I have to uh, get a clean sheet also. Uh, and uh, that is what the Hale did in this game. We did tie, which was kind of boring, but Fulham was attacking us. They did not stop. They were threatening us, attacking us, pressuring us, trying to score. They tried anything, and uh, the Hale had a very good game. The defense was lacking. Like I said before, we need new defenders, and we barely had any chances. Ronaldo did not show it up on this game. Rooney did it. Van Persie did it. You know. The main top guys of this team are not showing up. That is very bad. They're not stepping up to the plate. They're not doing what they should be doing, and I don't like that. Once the transfer window hit hits, I'm gonna be, you know, wanting the help of you guys. We tie 0-0, we draw, and you guys are gonna see right now what's gonna happen that is actually good for us in the table. Look at that. Everton beat Spurs and Spurs. We needed them to tie or lose one more time in order to secure our lead. And that's what happened. Look at us in the table. We have 24 points. We're in first place. Liverpool's in second of 21. And Spurs in 20. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to have a separate 
uh, episode series for the transfer window. I want you guys to help me and see what players we should get for Manchester United because we have so many damn injured people. But uh, this is the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Remember to leave a like and comment. I, I like comments more. Uh, but if you leave a like, it also helps me out so other people could watch my video. And if you're new, subscribe. I do Manchester United career mode. I do any career mode. I might start up a player, my player career mode, but uh, that's in the future. And, uh, you know, I've been Quinkin. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.